Just a little update. Um, we took Zoe to the doctor again yesterday because she has no changes in her cough after getting um, her steroids on Friday that she had been on since then. Um, no changes and actually like now complaining of a stomach ache, not feeling well. Took her back in. She has a long history of always getting pneumonia from everything she gets and they're gonna go ahead and treat her for an upper respiratory infection. She got antibiotics, so we're hoping she feels better soon. So, I'm trying to get this video up for Vlogmas for you guys. I wanted to thank Kristen over at The Gold Project, which I subscribe to her and follow her, so I will also link her channel um, in the description below if you wanna go check her out. She did a tutorial today, or the, yesterday, but I watched it, and it's on affordable gifts for your teachers. So I decided to copy it, but kind of tweak it a little bit to fit, um, what we wanted to do and also our budget so her she did a ten dollar gift card for i think it was like her local movie theater or rental company and made like a little movie basket with some dollar tree stuff so i went to dollar tree and i got the same type of stuff and i made my little shredded paper like she did and except this time I purchased Redbox um, codes. So that way, Redbox is really big around us and they have them everywhere and you can return the movie anywhere after you rent it. So I went ahead and I purchased a code for each person I made, or I'm making in the middle of it, 10 different gift, gift uh, bundles. And then also something I did a little bit different. I purchased the, um, shrink wrap I thought this is what she had and I even commented on her video saying hey next time you know you can blow dry that gift bag and it'll like shrink wrap around your stuff well go to find out Dollar Tree has both the shrink wrap one and non shrink wrap one so maybe forgive me she might have had the non shrink wrap one but I'm gonna show you the shrink wrap one right now this is it, sorry about the glare. It says um, shrink wrap and pull bow, I think it says. Um, so it's a gift bag. The trick is the one that does not shrink wrap, it looks exactly like this. It's the same blue, it's the same clear, it's the same look, except you get two bags in one. You have to make sure that in the picture, it shows a little blow dryer. Or you could just read the words, which I failed to do. <laughs> so, this is what I use. They're a dollar each, but they make your gift look so professional and it makes it look like you've purchased it somewhere. So I did that. Also, another tip. When you do the Redbox gift codes, what I did, I logged into my Redbox account. I then purchased 10 DVD Redbox rentals, except I sent them to my email. And the reason why is I bought the Etsy, um, forgive me for the camera shaking, this is a last minute thing. I went to Etsy and I purchased, I think it was $1.99, I will link it below, um, the PDF, it's not editable but it's a printable PDF so I purchased these tags Merry Christmas to all uh, was it say Merry Christmas to all and to all a movie night and then it says um, red box code and who it's from so I went ahead and I wrote down the red box code for each person and I put that in with our Christmas card and I kind of folded the corner like this. And then when I put the Christmas card, I will show you right now, because I have them right here. When I put the Christmas card into the envelope, I didn't want that little ticket to fall down in the envelope and them not to see it. So I kind of hung it like that. This is a teaser of our Christmas cards. I'll do a video on that in a day or two. Um, so I hung it like that and then put it in the envelope. 
another tip that I did. Let me show you. I don't know if I can show you actually because it has the codes on it. I printed out the actual email that I got from Redbox that has all the codes on it. And then as I wrote the codes down and packed the cards and labeled who they were to, I wrote down next to the code who that specific code is going to. Because what if I wrote down the wrong code? Or what if it doesn't work? I'm close enough with these people that I'll tell them, like, if it doesn't work, please tell me, because I can look it up right here. Um, so I want to make sure if so-and-so calls me, I can say, okay, I gave them that exact code instead of having all these codes and not knowing which code went to who. That's one of the other tips. Let me show you a finished little goodie bag. So I shrink wrapped mine. I put an M&M in it, a bag of popcorn, and um, I also printed out her free little printable tag, which I will link the direct video that I, I um, used this idea from below, and she has a link to the free printable. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's wrapped in plastic. See how it shrink wraps around it and looks super, super cute and professional? And then there's her tag. Again, it says Merry Christmas to all and to all a movie night. Super cute. The bag, the shrink wrap bag, also comes with these bows. This bow is really cute. And it looks substantial. Okay. And so, yeah. And I put the name of the family that it's going to on the back of the card. So that, or... I put the card in so the name is showing. That's the label from like the choking hazard of the actual bag. So ignore that. But this is who it's going to. Okay, super cute. I'm gonna show you what it looks like as I'm stuffing it and then I'll show you the blow drying process. Um, if you have any questions, ask me below. Make sure you subscribe. Merry Vlogmas. I don't even know what day it is. I've missed so many. And I hope that everyone is not sick in your family and we're working on mine. I will show you and then have a great day and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I'm so happy to be back. Okay, so here is our little popcorn container. You get them two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Here's the popcorn. I got three packages for a dollar at Dollar Tree. The M&Ms. Okay, and then here we have our Christmas card that I closed with um, some washi tape, and I will put that back behind with the person's name showing on the back. And then when I put it in the bag, this might be loud because of the crinkling, forgive me. I put a little bit of a shred down there. I have my shredder over here, look at how dusty it is, filled with my shreds that I made. I like to put this in the actual corner of the bag. If I put it in the bottom, this corner part chunks up and you don't get this clean look. You're gonna get wrinkles and clumps of the plastic like you would do like down right here, but you're gonna get that in the front and it doesn't look as clean and nice. So that is a tip to put it in the corner and make sure the front is smooth. Watch my foot there. So you're not getting that. I put a little bit of the shreds down there to see what it would look like. Um, she did that in hers, um, Kristen did, over at the Gold Project. And it looked really cute, but I wonder what it's gonna look like because I vacuum seal it. So let me go ahead and um, tie it up and then I'll show you how I've, uh, I hot seal it. Okay, so this is what it looks like before it is actually shrink wrapped. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like as I'm shrink wrapping it. If I can do it with one hand, I might.
So here is your finished product. Be careful because if you do continue to shrink it, it's gonna curl whatever's in the back of your cards. See how the corner kind of got bent right there? That's okay, I don't really mind. Also, do not aim your blow dryer at the top. You want this to stay fluffy. And it does shrink a little bit as you're doing it. Um, you know, things like that. So, and then here's the back. There's the warning. Okay. And there you go. Just fix your bow. Make it look kind of fluffed up and cute. And your project is done. I um, made each of these. From the wrapping to purchasing the second set of tags and then using her free tags um, I already had photo paper at home so I didn't have to buy any of that but each gift came out to under five dollars a person so there you go we have dance teachers we have teacher teachers we have front office staff we have the principal we have the vice principal we have many many people to do gifts for and I think this looks like a very well thought out gift and it's something that their whole family can enjoy and take a little break and it's just a little scrumptious treat. You know, it doesn't have to be something over the top, but it goes to show that you put thought and time into something versus just getting a little gift card, putting it in an envelope and sending it on your way. I mean, if you do that, that's wonderful. Trust me, my husband's a teacher. He loves any gifts that he gets as a thank you. But this one just kind of, it goes the extra mile. It, it's a presentation. It's an actual gift. I personally, I hate giving gift cards. Unless it's something like this where it comes as like a set. Um, that's just my personal thing. Thank you so much to Kristen over at The Gold Project for enlightening this idea. You have sparked so much creativity with me and I love affordable, creative creative things that I can customize to what we need it for. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to her. Everyone needs to go visit her channel and also subscribe to her. She is amazing and very entertaining. Such a sweet lady. I've never met her, but we've commented back and forth. Um, she will always take the time to answer your questions as well. So subscribe to me, subscribe to her, and go check out her channel. Thanks. Bye.